Don't forget to check out the website, guys. Be sure to buy yourself some of my awesome merch to rock up to the car boots in. And also check out the helpful guides and blog posts. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So in today's video, we have a little auction lot uh, for you. Now these are all ceramics, so if you don't like ceramics, um, I'll see you in the next one hopefully. Um, but yeah, if you like ceramics, I know a few of you like ceramics, so... Uh, we will go, we will get on with this. I know that the people who do like ceramics are way more knowledgeable than me because um, in my last, well, I say my last video because it's so hard to do the timeline of these anymore, but in the last video for me, currently on the 10th of April or whatever it is, in the last video for me that I published, that got all got, got published, I had an overwhelming response of comments of people, you know, telling me all about different ceramics and stuff and it was absolutely amazing to uh, understand you know how much knowledge um, the audience who watch me have so I know that you guys are way more knowledge knowledgeable than me at this stuff and uh, all the power to you you know so um, with that being said we'll get on with this if you have any information to give me then please do drop it down below a lot of the things I do kind of know about because some of them are a bit more standard. Um, but there are a couple of bits that I'm a little bit unsure of. Um, I've only done little bits of research. Um, I did a little bit of research yesterday, so I'm fingers crossed I do remember prices. But if not, that's just the way it's going to be. But hopefully I do remember prices on most of it. Um, but yeah, so with that being said, I won't ramble any longer. We're on a minute 30 already. So um, yeah, we'll get on with this. So I'll start with one piece that I haven't actually researched. So first off, we've got this little coal port, um, sort of twin handled. I don't know. I suppose it's just a decorative bowl, really. I'm trying to think of what you could actually use this for. It's not really a fruit bowl, but yeah, I don't quite know what you could uh, use this for, really. But it's more just a decorative bowl. Has it been? Yeah, it's hand painted. That, those little flowers in the middle there, I think there's a rose and some other flowers. Uh, they're hand painted in the middle, like a lot. You know, a lot of this stuff is. Uh, we've got this gilt around the edge here, which is again quite common. Um, and then I like these twin hand. You know, I like the twin handle stuff. I don't know why. I just get drawn to. I like. Um, you know what else I like? Eared cake plates. I don't know why, but I really do uh, like eared cake plates. And yeah, I don't know. You just gravitate towards certain things, don't you? Um, but yeah, so this is by Coalport, as I mentioned. I've not done research on it. It's probably not a lot of money. Ten quid, something like that. Uh, maybe a little bit more, but. I can't see it being worth much more than that. It might even be a bit less than a tenner, but hopefully it is a tenner and then, you know, I can put it on for that. Um, I might, you know, I might go a little bit more, maybe 12 99 or something plus my postage. Um, but I will have to see there. I don't think it, it's going to be particularly, um, you know, a lot of money. You can see it's quite a modern mark on there with the Coalport logo. Um, so, yeah, that's that one there anyway. So next we've got something that I think is quite nice. Uh, it has a little bit of age to it, obviously. It looks like it has a little bit of age to it anyway. Uh, Royal Cauldron, uh, England, established uh, 1774. It's not that old, don't worry. Uh, although you probably know that already. Made in England, X2500. Oh, I don't think I typed in my X2500, so might have to type that in. Um, so I did type in Royal Cauldron, and I typed in a few different variations. I typed in Royal Cauldron Floral Bowl, I typed in Royal Cauldron Orange Bowl, and all the rest of it. And I just couldn't seem to get this one up. I couldn't seem to find much of this Royal Cauldron stuff, actually. Um, but yeah, so it's got this nice... Uh, ah, that... Oh, yeah, that's a shame, actually. Can you see around the edge there? I don't know whether you're going to see that very well. But the uh, the gold around the edge is really faded away. So that's a bit of a shame. I mean, it will affect value slightly, but not terribly. Um, I've sold plenty of things where this uh, gilt around here has, uh, has kind of faded away. Um, but then we've also got it around the bottom here, but this is much, uh, you know, it's obviously stayed on. It's not faded away. Um, but yeah, it's quite a nice item. I thought that's actually quite nice. Uh, you know, I've had quite a lot of bowls in the, in the past and, you know, I can kind of see when something's quite nice. Um, I'm guessing it's hand-painted. Yeah, it's hand-painted. Um, and then there's a little bit of gilt round the kind of um cobalt it's like I, I don't think it's like it's kind of cobalt blue yeah it kind of is it's very very dark though i don't know whether that's just come with age but it's kind of like a cobalt blue 
uh, in there to these flowers and there's little bits of glaze oh there you can see it there on that one uh, there's a little bit of gilt around those as well which is really quite nice actually now I don't know what I'm gonna price this at because I can't see them on complete and sold I might do a bit of research on Google for Royal Cauldron and see if I can get up a little bit of information on the marks and stuff um, before I go ahead and list this because I don't want to shoot myself in the foot um, I'm thinking that I'll probably go like 25 30 quid like minimum even like if I was um, you know if I couldn't find any information or, or anything or this necessarily even if there wasn't like a makers to this just for what it is I feel it's worth about 25 or 30 quid but you know, with the, with the makers, I don't think the makers are going to make it much more valuable than that, that or anything. Maybe not even any any uh, more valuable than that. But you never know. It could be worth it. It could make it a little bit more than that. So it is a nice bowl. Really, really nice bowl. Oh, I didn't even say as well that in my haste when I was starting. Um, this cost me, this entire job lot, this is all one job lot. It cost me £40 plus commission. Now, that was my maximum bid. And I was tempted, oh, should I do it, shouldn't I? But um, you can be the judge on the, you know, uh, sales value of the profit of this, whether it, it's worth it. I think it was about 250 quid in, like, in sales value when I was doing a bit of research yesterday, kind of totting it up in my head a little bit. Um, so I think, you know, there's some fair, fair value there for probably £50, including commission. Um, so should be, I don't know, anywhere between three to four times my money, Um after fees, you know, like that, that's net. So anytime, any, uh, yeah, anywhere between about three to four times my money, like, um, would that be, yeah, yeah, I would say that's about right. Yeah, three to four times. I'm trying to work it out in my head. I really should have done this prior, but, um, yeah, so it'd probably be around that net profit. So I'm pretty happy with that, really. So, yeah, that's that bowl there. Um, so pretty happy with that one. Next, we'll do a couple more standard items. I've had quite a lot of these before. These, like, coaching days and stuff. Uh, you know, these, like, uh, ceramic tankards and stuff. Uh, this one is by... Ooh, oh, Ridgeways. Ridgeways, England. Uh, coaching days and coaching ways. Scenes from coaching days and coaching ways. Um, so, yeah, probably, like... £10 plus post on this. I can't see it being worth more than that. I've had a lot of these before. They are pretty standard. I'm sure there are ones out there. Do not get me wrong. I'm sure there are ones out there that go for decent money. I'm sure there are ones out there of these that go for 30, 40 quid. If you get them with the right maker or maybe they're a bit uh, larger ones or something like that. Um, but most of them are not particularly valuable they're very bread and butter well bread and butter for, for what i class as bread and butter which is that kind of you know 10 to well anywhere really between 10 and 30 pound now i class as bread and butter but maybe 10 and 25 pounds something like that but yeah so um that's that one anywhere there so very bread and butter but still it all just helps to to go towards the profit from the lot so uh, you know you can't you can't dismiss this stuff um, it is, you know, it's still uh, definitely worth listing. So that's that one there. Next, again, another one. This is actually quite nice. This is um, by Arthur Wood. So obviously a, a recognised maker there in Arthur Wood. I've had quite a lot of Arthur Wood stuff. Um, some of the stuff I like from, from them, but I don't know. It's just like not the maker I gravitate towards the most, like, it's not, like, I, the certain makers that I like more than others, you know, like, I like, I like a lot of the Burley Ware Art Deco stuff, and I like, uh, I do like a lot of Paul Pottery stuff, I really like a lot of Paul Pottery stuff, and I like, uh, you know, I've said this before, as it being a, maybe a little bit of an unpopular opinion within, like, the highbrow antiques world, but, um, of a snobby antiques world, let's say. But I really like the Royal Dalton ladies and stuff like that. I think they're really cool. Um, you know, even though a lot of people who are into the higher-end antiques would be like, oof, you know. Um, but I, I like the Royal Dalton ladies. And there's so many more things that I like. But Arthur Wood isn't one of the ones that really springs to mind as, as something that I really like. But, you know, it's still, it's a it's a known maker, of course. It's a more well-known maker, anyway. So this is, again, I think, like, old coaching days or something. Um, again, probably not a lot. £10 plus post, something like that. Um, I can't see it being worth any more than that. Um, so, yeah, that's that one. It has got some nice detail. It's like, um, I suppose it's embellish, uh, embellishments around here, actually. 
because it's raised up here and it yeah it's quite now that's quite nice actually but yeah that's that one there anyway so next we've got this bowl here um really quite nice actually again it's got this uh really really dark blue on it um and it's got these different sort of shapes around it i really do like this actually um now the problem with this one uh, uh, well first off it's an octagonal bowl you can see there eight sides but the issue with this one i find is that there is a little mark on it a little N, I think it's an N, but I really do not know the makers, do not know anything about this bowl necessarily. Um, but I think that it could be worth something, you know, I do think that this could be worth something. Now, minimum, without, again, I'll say this like I said to the other bowl, minimum without any makers or anything, just for what it is, I'd probably stick it on at 25 to 30 quid. But if that maker's worth something, like I've said in the past, if some of these makers are worth something, or, or uh, uh, you know, sought after makers, it can be way more than that. So I kind of need to find out what that N means, but I really don't know what that N means. Um, it must it must have some sort of relation to the artist or the uh, the maker or whatever, something like that, or a factory or whatever, you know, kind of one of those three things or maybe something similar to that. Um, but yeah, it's really quite nice. You can see inside there, it's got quite nice design on it. Um, but yeah, so I really do like that one. Could be worth more than more than that, more than I've said. Um, I just need to, to find out a little bit more information about it. So yeah, that's that one there. Now, World Dalton. Again, I believe this is series wear, but it doesn't tell me on the bottom. But I know that a lot of the series wear has these marks on that begin with D. So this one is... D6341. So I'm pretty sure it is series wear, and also the series wear does have this. Ex it's in this exact style, so I would imagine this is ser series wear, even though it doesn't actually say it specifically. Although saying that, I don't know whether on other pieces of series wear it's actually said it on the back. So yeah, maybe maybe it's just me. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, this is the under the greenwood tree, Royal Dalton. As I say, D6341. Love it when you've got a nice clear number on there because you can just whack it into eBay and it's so clear and easy. So this is quite a nice one. Obviously, I'm guessing it's something to do with Robin Hood. It doesn't say it on the back, but guessing it's Robin Hood because there's a guy, it was an archer there, and I think he's got a little hat like Robin Hood has. Um, but I'm not sure. Maybe it isn't, but I, I think it it probably is. Um, but yeah, so um, really cool piece, this actually. Really, really nice. Uh, people have got this on for 40 quid. But I don't think when I was looking at sold yesterday, I could see much or any information on sold. So I might have to undercut people a little bit. I'm not going to go crazy low or anything. I'm just maybe thinking of undercutting them by a fiver, something like that. Because if there was complete and sold information, I would be more than happy to price in line with the £40. But when there's not much complete and sold information or no complete and sold information... It sometimes give, gives the indicator to me, and this is just based on my own experience, that people are pricing a little bit too high, or the other indicator maybe is that there just isn't many customers for the items. It's either one of them two things, really. It's either people are pricing too high, so customers are searching for it and they're like, mm, I don't really want to pay that, or it's just that no one's searching for it. Um, and since there's like, I think there's about two or three of these on at 40 quid, I mean, maybe if I go 35, you never know, I might catch a sale on that. So, yeah, I'm thinking about £35 on that one there. Really, really nice item. I love the World Dalton series, where I don't know whether I said when I was talking about it a second ago. Um, but I really do like the Royal Dalton series, where, um, I don't know, it, it just, it's just nice. It's just subtle. Um, it's interesting. Yeah, it, it, I just like it. I just think, I just really do, it, it just really, there's a connection with me with it, you know? So, um, that's that one there anyway. So, next, I believe this is a sub-branch of series wear again. However, don't quote me on that. It does very much look like series wear again. But the thing that's making me uh, think it might not be is this Royal Dalton, and then it says Dickens wear there. But I think, and I stress, I think, I'm, I would need to just double check on the computer for this, but um, I think that this Dickens wear is a kind of a sub-branch of Royal Dalton series wear. Uh, but as I say, I would need to just very, very quickly double check that online because I'm not 100% sure, but I'm very close to 100% sure. And this on the bottom says Alfred Jingle, and that, I am assuming, is Alfred Jingle there. Um, and it's this 
kind of like a vase. It's not really a posy vase because it's too wide here, really. It's got these twin handles here. I'm sure there is a style, as I said on a previous video, I have a, um, oh, what do you call it? I have like a, um, a screenshot that tells me all the different shapes of vases and what they are. Um, but I've not bothered to bloody look at it, you know, for a while. So um, I need to look at that to see if this what this shape of vases on there and uh, maybe I'll be able to attribute an actual style to this vase. But it isn't a posy vase because it's just too, too wide here, really. But it's still very nice. Now, unfortunately, with this piece, there is, I don't know whether you can see in there, there is a slight hairline uh, crack there. It is very, very minor, but of course, I'm going to be mentioning that in the listing. And it may affect value slightly. Now, I can't see this exact one on Complete and Sold. Can't even see it listed. Um, but similar ones of these, again, I think it's the, the Dickens wear ones of these. Um, I think one went for like £20 with a best offer. One went for like a tenner, which I think is a little bit low. Um, so I think I might go for about 20 quid on this. Maybe a little bit more because there isn't one of these on. So I might be able to push a little bit more. But with that little hairline uh, crack in there, obviously I've got to kind of judge price a little bit based on that as well. Um, but I might go a little bit higher than the, than the 20 quid on that and just see... Um, because I'd say there's not any on there as far as I'm aware. Um, but yeah, so that's that one there. Pretty cool. Quite like that one, actually. So next, something pretty standard. I don't even think I'll be able to get a tenner out of this, to be honest. But saying that, I think I did see one of these, oddly enough, yesterday. Now, this is... Uh, well, before I actually properly get into it, I'll tell you what it is. I know a lot of people know what this is anyway, but it's wet Wedgwood and it's the Willow pattern, of course. Very, very famous pattern. Um, but this one isn't completely round. It's got these kind of grooves in the plate round here. You can see, can you see those grooves in the plate round the edge? So I was looking on Complete Insults and I'm pretty sure I saw one of these, uh, with these grooves go for £10. Now, a best offer was taken, so for all that means that it could have gone for five or six quid, seven quid, whatever. Um, you know, if someone was desperate, they may have taken an offer for a fiver. So, um, yeah, it, you know, whether I would be able to get a tenner for this, I don't know. It's it's doubtable um, because a lot of the other ones on there, like I would have assumed before I even checked, uh, complete and sold, have gone for way less than a tenner. Um, really, you know, with this stuff, you want to get a nice little set of it, or you want to get like a, you know, a set of dinner plates and stuff, and then you can at least get some money out of it. Um, but a single plate like this on, your own, so, on its own isn't going to be brilliant. So I don't know about that one. I will double check complete and sold. Maybe I'll list it individually, um, or maybe I'll wait. Maybe I can get some more of it, because I do come across like this stuff quite often, so maybe I could get some more of it, um, and maybe I can bundle it up and stuff. But yeah, that's that one, pretty standard. So next we've got Melody by Mayotte. I've seen Mayotte stuff quite a while. They did, uh, one of the ones that they did that is quite common is the Hunter one, like the Hunter pattern. Um, and I think it's this little guy, and then it's got like a cottage here, and it usually comes on plates. Also, um, I think I've had a... Uh, like a small serving plate, like an oval serving plate or a small uh, oval meat plate with it on as well. Um, you can get a bit of money for them. I think like maybe 10 quid plus post. I mean, if you've got like a meat plate and, and stuff, uh, maybe not just a dinner plate. But yeah, for some of that, you can get some money. So, for, oh yeah, there, there might be some money in these. Now, this isn't just one. There is actually four of these. There you go. Same pattern as you can see. Um, so, you know, I thought to myself, well, I'll research these because there's probably some money in these. Uh, Melody, Mayotte, uh, Fine Iron Stone, uh, Genuine, Hand Engraved, etc, etc. I don't need to read all that out anyway. I don't know why I'm bothering. Um, but yeah, so, pretty cool. Um, is it transfer printed? I think it may be transfer printed. I'm not sure. Can't quite see. I can't quite tell whether it's hand painted in the middle there or not. Maybe it is hand painted, but yeah, um... Yeah, so four of these, six of these, I think, went for, like, 20 quid plus postage, something like that, I saw, or maybe £22 plus postage. So, I think for four of these, maybe 14 99 plus my post, something like that. Maybe a little bit more, 16 99 17 99 something like that. Uh, not huge amount of money, but I thought, you know, I'll still put them on 
because they're over that tenor and it would be silly for me for me not to. I don't think I'm going to be able to get any more of these anytime soon to do a bigger bundle with them because I've not really ever seen this melody pattern uh, before. But if it was something more common, then I might wait to, you know, maybe get a few more of them and bundle them up in a bigger bundle. And obviously then it'd be a bit more worth my while. Um, because the only reason I don't particularly like listing sets of plates at 14 99 or 9 99 or even up to 20 quid really is because they can take a little bit longer to package and if you're packaging something that's easy for 15 quid then that's fair enough but if you're packaging something that's a little bit harder for 15 quid then you know sort of time versus money kind of thing if you get where i'm going so yeah that's sometimes why I do, I, i'm a little bit apprehensive to list things uh, like this at only like 14.99 but at the end of the day, it's probably still going to be worth my while. So, yeah, that's those there anyway. So, quite nice, but as I say, still fairly standard item. Now, next we have a couple of nice plates. I'm guessing these are European. Um, because a lot of... Uh, I've seen a lot of... Uh, loads and loads of plates like this over over the time of obviously doing the auctions and stuff. And generally, a lot of these plates like this, uh, you know, usually they have some sort of number here or somewhere around here. And they're generally European ones. Um, I think there's quite a lot as well. Uh, usually when they're Czechoslovakia, they they say that on the plate. Um, but generally, you know, there's a lot of plates that are European um, that you'll get. And some of them, to be fair, are, can be worth quite good money. I think there's also a mark, is it MZ? I don't know what the company is, but there's like an MZ as well. And then there's, uh, Me is it Messen? Um, and that's with like two swords and stuff. I think does that have a little M in the mark? I'm not. I'm not sure because I. I don't think I've ever had Messen actually. I think it's M E I S S E N, uh, and they can be quite good, especially like the older stuff of that. Um, but these don't have any marks on other than this two three one. You know, sometimes with these, what I do, if I can't really find too much information about them, I simply describe the plate. Of course, we've got gilt around here. We've got hand-painted floral design in the middle there. Um, we've got some sort I'm guessing it's like an underglaze or something like that, like a kind of grey underglaze. Really quite nice, actually, this plate. Uh, and then what I do is I just describe it as what it is, and uh, and simply I can put on the listing, like, European plate, etc. And uh, I just go for a random price. Some plates, I think... Some some plates I've got like uh, 20 quid, 25 quid for. Um, so some of the European plates are quite good. Um, but obviously if you can try and find like a company for them and stuff, then that's going to help it out a lot. And maybe that'll um, give you an indication that it's worth a, a lot more money than maybe you would have shot yourself in the foot and put it on for a lot lower if you didn't do some proper research into them. But, you know, for what it is, it's quite a nice plate, to be honest. That middle design is, hand, yeah, it's definitely hand-painted. You can see the brush strokes on that very, very clearly. Really lovely design actually um i might go for like 20 quid or something on that one but i do want to do a bit more research before i um uh, completely list it and stuff but yeah quite nice that one um and i do i really do like dealing with these european plates um sometimes as i say they can be hard to research they can be hard to understand what you've got and stuff um sometimes you can also put on there like a early 20th century uh, European plate, so you know, a, a lot of times at the auction, that's what they describe them as just 20th century or late 19th century, generally more early 20th century, but just early 20th century um, European plates, you know, so um, European ceramics, that sort of stuff. So it can be quite hard to actually attribute certain makers and stuff, but if anyone has any more information on actually how to hone down makers of these things because I, I it is an area that um i do struggle with research on you know it is certainly an area, a lot of the other stuff it's quite easy but european ceramics and stuff i do i do tend to struggle on and i think it is something that a lot of people who get into ceramics i think a lot of people do kind of uh, it's kind of like a feeling around in the dark situation kind of thing. But yeah, so that's a nice one there. I won't ramble about that anymore. Uh, we are getting on time-wise. I've got quite a lot to go through, so I'm going to speed up uh, in a second. I just get so absorbed with these items and just chatting about them because I like them. Uh, again, hand-painted uh, design in the middle. Very, very well hand-painted these are, actually, I have to say. We've got an underglaze here. I'm guessing it's like a cobalt blue underglaze. That's what it looks like anyway. Really do like that, that blue, actually. 
and then we've got this gilt round here which is really really nice i absolutely love that it's not faded at all or anything again i'd be pricing similar to that one but as i say um i really do want to do more research on this because you never know. These actually, these might be a good pairing because I think these are, they must be from the same company because that's two three one and this is two three nine and it's exactly the same writing. So they must be from the same company. I know that. Um, but yeah, I really want to do a bit more research into them because if they're from a certain makers, they could be you know they could be a lot more money. So, um, but just for what they are. I wouldn't be going any less than around 20 quid on those, like, you know, each or maybe 15, but, you know, I, I kind of like to go a little bit higher than that these days, because I've had these in the past, and as I say, I've got some decent money from them, so, yeah, uh, that's those two, really do like those, actually. So, very quickly now, because as I say, I've got to speed up, again, this is all from the £40 plus commission job lot, uh, this is uh, Thanksgiving, Historic America, Frozen Up, uh, Johnson Bros, England, um... Uh, yeah, it's not particularly worth a lot of money. There is weirdly someone who has it on for 35 quid, but then one or no, quite a few of them have sold at like five quid or something. So I don't really know what to do on this because I don't like listing things below a tenner, and especially ceramics because you know if I'm if I'm selling this for like a fiver plus postage and packaging it up for that, taking the time to package it up because I'm gonna pack it's gonna take a little bit longer than something that I can just slip in a jiffy bag. Um, you know, it just isn't really worth it for me. So, don't know what I'm going to do on this. Maybe I'll wait till I've got some other kind of Johnson Bros collectible plates. Because you do see them around. You know, it's they are fairly common. So, I might just do that and just leave it somewhere for a while. And uh, and when I've got some other plates, I can uh, bundle them up. Maybe get 15 quid for a bundle. Maybe 20 quid for a bundle. But, yeah, that's that one. Next, Will Dalton here. Um, really nice lo looking little plate, this. It's called... Well, there's no name on the bottom, and there's a little 3-3 free free there. 3-3-3. Free free free. And um, I typed that in, couldn't find it. So I literally just typed in eBay, um, chopping trees, Royal Dalton cho chopping trees plate. And it came up, and someone had described it as like a timber carriage or a timber plate or something. So I don't know the exact official name that Royal Dalton had on this plate originally, but... You know, it's going to be something close to that anyway. Or maybe a tim timber cart or something because they've got a cart with ho horses there pulling the, the logs. Um, really nice plate, as you can see here. Um, yeah, it is quite a nice plate. Unfortunately, people have got it on at like 10 quid plus post, 12 99 Maybe the most someone has it on is about 14 99 So not huge money in that, but still it just goes towards uh, obviously making a bit more money on this job lot. So yeah, that's that one there. Next, again, not going to spend too much time on this one. Uh, the Hunting Man, uh, Royal Dalton again. Again, I think this might be might fall under series wear. I'm not too sure though. It has that D on there. Uh, D6282, so it was quite easy to research. Um, ooh, I'm wondering. No, I don't know. No, I don't. Maybe I'm not sure actually. Um, but yeah, so this is the Hunting Man. Uh, quite a nice looking plate. Thought it would be worth a little bit more than it is. Uh, generally, again, like the other one, people have got them on at 10, 12 10, 10 pound plus pose, 12 99 Maybe, as I say, someone's got one on at 14 99 I was kind of hoping it would be 15 to 20 opposed to just like 10 or 13 um but you know it's not too far off so uh you know quite quite a nice plate but nothing too special on that one so next we've got three like horses plates i think and these are just royal worcester kind of collectible plates they they are numbered so i'm guessing they are like uh, limited edition and stuff this one is called first out outing with horses on there um Generally, I don't think these were going for a lot of money each, um, if I recall, on when I was researching a few of them yesterday. So I think I'd probably just bundle these up, maybe like 15 quid, maybe a little bit more if I if I uh, do a bit more research and think, oh, maybe I can go a bit higher. Uh, working horses on this one. Uh, not going to spend too much time on these because I know we're on 29 minutes now. That is crazy. Um, but yeah, uh and then we've got this little one in the barn. Chance encounter it is, because obviously the horse is having an encounter with the dog or the chicken, or maybe both of them, I'm not sure. But yeah, so that's those. Um, nothing too amazing, but again, you know, it's definitely worth listing. I'd say maybe 14 99 plus post on those. Not even really worth bothering with. This is Spo uh, Copeland Spodes, Byron. Now, Copeland Spodes, some of it, uh, Spodes Italian, things like that. Some of that can be pretty good. 
I'm pretty sure there'll be some, um, I don't know whether, did Spo do tea sets and stuff? I think they did, and I think some of them do quite well as well. So, don't just write off Spode's. It is good, it just is that this particular plate isn't particularly brilliant. I think one had sold for a few quid, like, l way less than a tenner anyway. So, yeah, not brilliant, brilliant on that one. Don't know what I'm going to do with it, really. Again, now, you see these quite often, these calendar plates. I didn't actually research this because I thought to myself, oh, it's probably not worth anything anyway. On hindsight, now I'm doing this video, I'm thinking maybe I should have researched it just to let you know whether it's, like, solidly worth anything or not. But I don't think it will be. A lot of these calendar plates that I've had in the past, generally like a bundle job or you you might be able, the odd one you might be able to get a tenner out of. So you might, I might be able to squeeze a tenner out of this one. But I don't think so. It's, it is quite a modern one actually at 1981. We did some of these like, I think it was uh, early 70s as well or maybe even right through the 70s. And you know, the odd one might be worth something. Um, but I don't know about this one. I will have to double check though, because you never know. I might shoot myself in the foot saying it's completely that, you know, completely worthless when actually I might be able to get some money out of it. But yeah, that's that one there anyway. So next, I thought these were quite nice actually. So these are, uh, oh, there's a bit of dirt around there, but I can, oh, I can, uh, that'll come off easily. There's just a bit of dirt up here, but I can get that off easily. Um, so yeah, this is the horse, and this is by uh, Ainsley. Um, I'm guessing it's just some sort of commemorative plate or something, or just collectible plate. Um, I don't know whether it's commemorating, commemorating anything, actually. But, yeah, the horse, and it's got all these horses around here. And also we've got um, the Grand National. Actually, I didn't see this before. I'll just put that down. It's got a load of this stuff on here. Like, load of, I don't know, mould or something. I might be able to get that off, but actually now looking at it, you know... If I can get it off, then I'll do what I originally was thinking with these two items, which I will bundle them together for around the £20. They seem to go for about £10 each, but because uh, both of these plates. But because this one's about horses and that one's about Grand National, I'm thinking, well, maybe I'll just bundle them together, make a little bit less work for myself, one sale, one listing, etc., um, for the 20 quid. But hopefully now, obviously... I'll try and get that off, and if I can get that off, uh, whatever it is on the back there, I really don't know, it looks like some sort of mould or something, but um, if I can get that off, then I will do originally what I've said, if I can't, then I will have to reassess what I'm what I'm doing with this one, and maybe just list this one individually, um, but I, th I, think, I think I should be able to get that off somehow at least, so yeah, that's those two there. Another one of these Ainsley, we're getting... Uh, yeah, last two items now. Uh, one of these Ainsley the dog plates. Again, I don't know whether it's collect uh, like a collect uh, not a collectible, a commemorative plate for anything specific. I'm not too sure. I've not read this here. Looks like something about king and queen, it says on there. So I I'm not sure. But um, yeah, again, I'm looking to put that on for about a tenner, something like that. So yeah, that's that one there. And then finally out of this job lot, um, which actually is quite a productive job lot, job lot really, quite uh, good value in it really. Uh, this is Spode's Camellia, um, and these are obviously plate. I don't know whether they're the biggest size of plate in this design. I, it kind of looks like 22 centimetres. Let's grab this here. Oh no, no, it's 27 centimetres, so it must be the biggest plate. Um, so it must be a proper big size dinner plate because sometimes you get the smaller size dinner plates which are about 22, 23 centimetres. Um, but yeah, this must be one of the bigger size dinner plates. Uh, you know, nice item. It's transfer printed. Yeah, it looks transfer printed to me. And it's got this uh, gilt round the edge here as well. Spode's Camellia. Don't know whether I turned it round there. Spode's Camellia. Got two of them. Um, and I'm going to go... I saw one of them. Did I see one of them listed for like 10 or 15 or something? Don't know about solds, but when I was looking at solds yesterday, I came up with the price of £20 plus postage on the two. And that was going fairly high, so I might need to work down a little bit. But yeah, I know that's what I said that I was going at, but I can't remember what solds are coming in at. But it must have been telling me to go around the £20 on the two. So for the two of them there, I'm going to do a bundle and I'm going to go for around 20 quid on those. So yeah, pretty happy with that. So um, yeah, apologies, it was quite a long video. I really wasn't like, 
it wasn't meant to be a long video, but actually I suppose I did have quite a lot of stuff to share, and this was just one of the job lots from uh, the auction hall I recently got, so there will be more videos coming out on um, you know, the stuff that I bought from the auction. Um, so yeah, that being said, I will leave it there, and uh, I will see you in the next one. So don't forget, if you like the video, please do like it down below. If you uh, have any comments, questions, or queries, drop them down below. If you, uh, what's the other thing? Oh, if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I knew there was something else. So, yeah, I'll leave it there, guys, and I will see you in a bit. So, see you very soon, guys.